Oh, my friends, this is absolutely horrible news, and all of her deepest fears have come true. James Bond producer confirms character and films will be reinvented for the modern world. We all know what this means. We all know exactly where they're going to be taking James Bond. Just think about this, guys. We are living in a time where nothing is safe from the woke agenda. Not even James Bond. And we've already seen them start to kind of tease that this is the direction that they're going to take things, but now it is indeed coming to fruition. They are going to be wokeifying James Bond. This is absolutely pathetic, absolutely disgusting. And this, the insane thing about this is that this is coming from Barbara Broccoli herself. James Bond producer Barbara Broccoli recently confirmed that future James Bond films will reinvent the character and stories for the modern world. I hope you all are extremely excited for a trans, non-binary person of color James Bond because that is probably what we are going to be getting. In an interview with The Guardian to promote the prime video reality series 007 Road to a Million, Broccoli informed the outlet that there are plans for the character to be reinvented for the next chapter, albeit she and other executives haven't even begun that process. The Guardian's Tara Conlon added, she added that the next film would have to reflect the way the world has changed in the two decades since Craig was confirmed as the 6007 and pointed out that Bond has often been reinvented. And just think about how insane this is. They could have an easy path where they can make a boatload of money if they decided to not go the direction that pretty much every other franchise is going. Imagine if they had someone like Henry Cavill playing James Bond. Just think about how epic that would be. But no, instead of going that type of direction, they're going to go in the direction of pretty much everything else in Hollywood. Broccoli went on to justify why she believes the character needs to be reinvented for the modern era, pointing to Pierce Brosnan's GoldenEye film as well as the recently concluded Daniel Craig era. As for GoldenEye, she said, I go back to GoldenEye when everyone was saying the Cold War is over, the wall is over, Bond is dead, no need for Bond, the whole world's at peace and now there's no villains and boy was that wrong so basically what this probably means is that we're going to see james bond fighting things like you know white supremacy and ridiculous things like that because that is what the woke think are the villains these days this is absolutely insane and the problem with this is that we know exactly what they are saying when they say they're going to reinvent james bond they're making him for the new era we've seen this type of language with many other things like star wars lord of the rings we saw how that turned out for rings of power this is going to be a disaster. Conlon also added that Broccoli informed her that modernization is necessary whenever a new actor plays the part. Which is nothing, nothing could be further from the truth for this. To that point, she discussed Craig's era of James Bond, knowing, noting that she and other Bond producers wanted to focus on what a 21st century hero would look like. This is so ridiculous, man. This is absolutely insane. It's an evolution. Bond is evolving just as men are evolving. I don't know who's evolving at a faster pace. So, Bond in a dress? Potentially. Potentially. I don't know, man. This is all... And, like, this isn't evolving. This isn't anything but just them bringing woke nonsense into James Bond. And we should all be angry and outraged by this. We should all be looking for ways how we can speak out against this because this is insane. She had also already posited the idea that Craig's Bond figured out the emotional arc of Bond saying the films over his tenure were the first time we really connected the emotional arc. Guys, this is the Hollywood agenda right here. They want to completely destroy masculinity. And James Bond is, in a lot of ways, the icon that represents masculinity. That is like the... The fantasy of men. Being James Bond is the fantasy of men. And they're going to completely obliterate that. And in doing so, they're going to replace James Bond. They're going to make him some sort of weak, pathetic male version. Uh, maybe not even male. <laughs> Who knows at this point. It is all absolutely insane. But let me know what you think about this in the comments below. I want to hear what you guys have to say about this. This is a really big, big red flag for what they're planning to do for James Bond. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.